Yeah, we back with another funny video, man. Now, I just got to put the disclaimer out there first because for whatever reason, when I make these type of videos, the divestors, man, they get into my comment section. They get so triggered for whatever reason, man. And they start making false accusations against me and things like that. I just want to say off the rip, for y'all who been following me, you already know, I deal with black women primarily and exclusively. That's just my personal preference. So don't come into the comment section making any false accusations against me. Now, today, man, we got a funny video. I'm not going to waste no time. I'm going to jump right into it, and I'm going to come back with my comments every. You already know. Let's go. Yeah, we got to talk about this. And before y'all come at me in the comments, <laughs> this is a personal testimony as someone who has dated outside of my race. Plenty, okay? A lot of y'all, a lot of y'all like what you see when you date a black woman. You, you you love the beauty of black women, which I can't blame you. You love the aesthetic. You love how different we are. You love our bodies. But the problem is a lot of y'all don't even like black people. Yeah, let's talk about it. Bro, where are my black women at that have dated white men? because y'all know exactly what the fuck I'm talking about. The black women who have literally experienced being called the N-word by the white man that they're dating. Let's talk about <laughs> white men that have literally had children by black women but can't stand black people. Why do y'all do that? It honestly, it's it. I'm discombobulated because make it make sense. Let hold up, let me do some math real quick. Yeah, it's not adding up because how you gonna date somebody and then just pretend the whole time like you really mess with them and fuck with them and whole time you racist as hell can't stand me. True story. I have a friend who's half white. She says her dad is a stone cold racist. When I say this white man hates it that his daughter identifies as a black woman. Explain that to me. Please. I want to know. Get in the comments and explain it to me. Because y'all been doing this shit since since slavery and even before then yeah because we haven't forgotten we we ain't forgot so y'all need to stop if y'all really aren't down for black culture and black people stop dating us because it's actually very disrespectful and it's hurtful and i'm not with it so stop now brothers we're going to take a look at some of the reactions on social media. Now, you already know my opinion on this matter, right? I told you in the beginning of the video, I deal with black women primarily and exclusively. But when it comes to divestors, swirlers, that's automatic disqualification, man. I don't, I don't care to know about your history or your story. That's automatic disqualification. I'm cool, man. I'd rather deal with a black woman on the same mindset, the same wavelength as me, the same mentality as me. You run around with a bunch of racist white boys with pickup trucks. I'm cool, man. I'm cool. I'm dealing with a black woman who got a head on straight. Now, let's take a look at some of the reactions on social media. Take a look up on the screen. This lady said, my ex is an undercover racist. I didn't know until I got to know him. Now, I, I don't buy that crap, bro. I, I don't buy this. Oh, I didn't know this man was a degenerate until I got to know him. Yo, I'm tired of hearing that same thing. They always say, I didn't know. I didn't know he was a deadbeat until I got to know him. I didn't know he was a criminal until I got to know him. I didn't know he was a felon until I got to know him. I didn't know he was a racist until I got to know him. Until after I gave him the coochie, I didn't know any of this information. Oh my goodness, bro. I, yo, bro. I, I'm, not, I'm not trying to hear that shit, bro. I'm not, I'm not trying to hear it, man. Moving on. Now, take a look up on the screen. Starting at the top, this lady said, my daughter's father. The second lady said, this was my ex. I didn't even know until it was too late. BS. Oh my God. I didn't know. I didn't know. You see, this is why back in the day, 
the fathers and the brothers and the elders they had to walk the women through the dating process the courting process the marriage process they had to get to know the family of the person they had to they had to do a ritual to pass her off to the, to the next man to the husband to the husband's family there was a whole ritual and process behind these things because our forefathers and our ancestors understood maybe a lot of you women don't really know what you're doing maybe i don't really know what the hell you're doing so you need the elders you need your father you need your brother the cousins the elders the, the matriarchs of the family to give you the wisdom needed to go out into the world and make the right choice because obviously i keep hearing the same sh i didn't know i didn't know i didn't know all right maybe you don't know maybe that's why you need the elders to help you out because you don't know what the hell is going on now let's continue the third lady said i was married to one with a child she was married to a white supremacist she get she she let a white supremacist impregnate her like it was 1755 you see brothers this is why i say this is why for me it's automatic disqualification i don't care to know the backstory i don't care to know the backstory if you stepped out on the other side just stay on that other side that's automatic disqualification i don't want just lose my number stop talking to me block me on instagram block me stop talking to me that's my opinion because once i keep hearing i didn't know i didn't know i didn't know i just automatically assume that you was giving the coochie to a clansman so just stay stay on that side man stay on that side like i said i deal with black women primarily and exclusively but i only deal with a certain type of black women I'm not open and eligible to all of y'all because a lot of y'all like like uh, according to y'all y'all don't know what the hell y'all doing so i need a woman that knows what the hell she doing and the vast majority of y'all don't know what the hell y'all doing now let's continue the lady on the bottom said this happened to my siblings wow that's crazy anyways moving on take a look up on the screen starting at the top this lady said my kid's dad literally the same scenario the second lady said i've dated a few like this so she gave the coochie to multiple clansmen multiple <laughs> Yo, she went to the clans rally and we just, oh my goodness. Third one, I was married to one. Yo, y'all be walking down the aisle with the white supremacists? That shit crazy. The fourth one, I definitely know what you're talking about. One guy even tried to hide me from his family. Wow, y'all be giving the coochie to clansmen who don't even want to bring y'all to the house? Brothers, that's why for me, it's automatic disqualification, man. That's automatic disqualification. I'm telling you. I'm telling for me, it's automatic disqualification. It's automatic red card, bro. <laughs> automatic red card i don't want to hear the backstory i don't care to know i'm not interested no more delete my number block me on everything you'll never hear from me again that's how that's how i'm doing it bro that's how i'm doing it because i don't need to limit my options to the trash heap you know what i'm saying it's so many beautiful eligible amazing black women out here i don't have to limit myself to the trash heap to the trash can you know i only want the best man i only want the best now let's continue this brother said y'all knew their history before you started dating them don't complain now now brother I'll be honest, man. I'll be honest. As someone who's who's dealt with a variety of women, I'll be honest. The majority of women do not know do not know anything about history, to be honest, bro. I can count on one hand the amount of women that have been able to keep up with me in our in our conversations about history. Usually, I'm the one I'm the one bringing bringing knowledge to her that she never heard about. I'm the one bringing books to her that she never heard about. I'm the one dropping game on her that she never heard about. The vast majority of women cannot keep up with me in historic historical debates, historical conversations. They do not know much of anything besides what is taught in school. You know, Martin Luther King, Rosa Parks, um, you know, Abraham Lincoln. That's about it, bro. That's that's about it, man. I'm usually the one that's giving them the knowledge, bro. So to to, to make it seem like they know about history, they, they don't know shit, bro. <laughs> they don't know they don't know shit, bro. Let's continue. This brother said, "Thank you for sharing your testimony. People tend to stick with their own kind and experiment with others." Yes, indeed. But me, I don't even experiment with the others, man. I stay, I stay with the black women, man. That's just me personally. I stick with black women. I'm not telling the next man what to do. But when it comes to Nefkari Desaline, I'm sticking to black women. A certain type of black women. A certain sector of black women. I'm not dealing with the swirlers, the divesters, the ratchets, the goofies. I'm not. I'm not. No, I'm not, I'm not dealing with those. I'm dealing with. I'm dealing with a certain remnant of black women that have the mindset that is compatible with me. Right. I, I stick with those. The top of the top. The cream of the crop. Now let's continue. This lady said, I second this. I've experienced it. Bro, when I went through this comment section and I seen so many women talking about their own personal testimony on how they gave the coochie to a clansman, I was like, bro, it just reinforced my, my mindset of why I got to stay far away from them women, bro. I got to stay far away from the women. And you know, you know, I, should, I shouldn't generalize with a broad brush because I'm sure every situation isn't uh, a woman dealing with a clansman but i don't care to know i don't care to know the backstory bro the fact that you stepped out voluntarily and willingly like i said like i said in my video the other day our ancestors our female ancestors our foremothers they they were in a compromising situation right life was hard they had to do what they had to do sometimes right they were coerced sometimes by force 
But in the modern day, right? In the modern day, there is no force. There is no coercion. There is no compromising situation that forces you to jump in bed with the European. You jump in bed with the European because you desire to jump in bed with the European. And just for that alone, stay away from me, man. Stay away from me. Automatic disqualification, automatic red card, delete my number, stop talking to me, man. Let's continue. This lady said... I was talking to one and I asked if I swung on his mama for saying something racist, what would he do? And that was the end of that. Now hold up, do y'all really think a man is going to choose you over his mother? I'm not even going to choose you over my mother and my mother's black. <laughs> you think the white man is going to choose you over his mother, the woman that, that taught him everything that he knows, the woman that changed his diaper, fed him since he was a baby, got him dressed for school since the first grade. The white woman is the mother of Western civilization. You think the white man is going to choose you, the black woman, over the mother of Western civilization. You bugging out, bro. You, you, you bugging out. You, you're bugging out. The fact that you're actually dealing with the man, the fact that you jumped in bed with the man whose mother has negative, has negative viewpoints on your people and you still want to give coochie to her son, you still want to lay up with her son when you know that the family has hostile energy towards your whole race. That's why I stay away from the divestor swell as automatic disqualification. I told you, when a woman tells me she got a history of laying up with them people, I don't even want to smash no more, bro. I don't even want to smash, because in my in my mind, in my mind, he probably gave you something, bro. He probably gave you something that requires medication. So I don't even want to smash. I lose all interest, bro. All interest, all desire, all lust, all, bro. I don't, I don't, I don't even want it no more, bro. I don't even want. You can keep it. You you can keep it. I I declined the offer. I declined the offer. <laughs> I declined the offer. I'm, yo, shit crazy, bro. Shit crazy. Anyway, let's continue. This lady said. This is facts. Yo, how many of y'all, yo, how many of y'all have jumped in bed with the, with the Ku Klux Klan? I mean, God damn, this whole comment section, this whole comment section is women coming forth with their testimonies about how they gave coochie to the goddamn Confederates. I, I don't get it, bro. I, I, yo, it's not 1755 anymore. You don't have to give coochie to the Confederates anymore. At this point, you guys are volunteering to jump in bed with the Confederates. They're not threatening you at gunpoint. They're not threatening to sell your baby down the river. At this point, you guys are volunteering. You guys are volunteering your services for nothing in return. For nothing in return. I don't I don't understand it, man. I don't understand it. It's not like you guys are marrying into any elite families. Like, I don't see any of y'all marrying into the Walton family, into the Gates family, into what what other big family, into, into the Betancourt family. When I go outside, I see y'all dealing with some regular, degular Joe Schmoes that drive, you know, 2014 Mazdas and shit like that. Dudes that work at the bar. Dudes that make $72,000 a year. You know, regular, degular Joe schmoes and on top of that you dealing with clansmen on top of that this shit is embarrassing man this shit is embarrassing because at the end of the day man the reason why you don't have access to the top of the top cream of the crop is because men of high status they tend to keep it inside the family they tend to keep it inside the culture that's a large reason why me myself personally I deal with black women primarily and exclusively because I have family treasures that I'm trying to protect. I'm trying to keep it inside the family I'm trying to keep it inside the culture and men of other races men of other groups they operate in the same way. So the only men that you have access to is the regular degular Joe Schmo. You know what I mean? You're not dealing with no elite, you know, elite men of any race like that. So like, I don't get it. You dealing with clansmen who don't even got no money. Like this shit is embarrassing. But anyway, let's continue. This person said, biracial kids with black moms are better according to black females. Yet you guys never talk about the white dad. Now on my channel, we debunked that talking point a long time ago, right? We, I, I dropped multiple videos discussing the historical role that the mixed race individual has played throughout black history, okay? The mixed race individual has waged war, okay? The, the mixed race child of the black woman and the non-black man has waged war against our people on multiple occasions, okay? I've done multiple videos covering this. Anybody who tries to who tries to make it seem like, oh, the mixed race individual with the black mother is going to be more in tune with the, with the black culture, listen, like I've said in previous videos, yes, women are responsible for transmitting the cultural values to the next generation but women are going to follow the leadership of their men so the man is going to lay down the principles and the cultural foundation for the family and she's going to transmit that to the children so if the white man or whatever non-black man is the head of the household he's going to set the cultural parameters for the family and the mother is going to transmit that to the children and if they have a son the son is going to want to be like the father Right. So if you have a mixed son with a white dad, he's going to want to be like his white dad. That's why you had even during the slave trade, you had mixed race men and women who were slave traders on the West African coast. They were the sons of white men and black women, but they were slave traders. They were slave owners. 
Many of them even wage war to maintain the system of slavery. We talked about the War of Knives in 1799 during the Haitian Revolution, where the mixed race individuals actually wage war against Dessalines and Toussaint and Christophe. Yes, the mixed race sons of the white men and the black women, they wage war against the revolutionary blacks during the Haitian Revolution. So we already know the history of the mixed race offspring of the white man and a black woman so you know i never bought into that propaganda where they try to make it seem like if a mixed race person has a black mother they're going to be more in tune with their black culture history does not support that history does not support that okay history has shown us that when black women typically go and reproduce with a non-black man that mixed race child comes back and has a hostile disposition towards their mother's people that's what history has shown those of us who study history we know this already OK, like I told you, in, like I told you before, these women do not study history. They don't know nothing about history. And like I told you before, in my experience, I'm usually the one that's teaching them things about history that they never even knew about. So you got to forgive them if they say things that are not historically accurate. You got to forgive them, man. Let's continue. This lady said, yes, I've dated a few bad apples. God damn. So it's one thing to strike out one time. You strike out one time and then you come back and give the coochie to another clansman. And then you come back and give the coochie to another clansman. And then you come back and give the coochie to a fourth clansman. Golly. Yo, that's why I stay away, brothers. I stay away. I'm not about to be coming after the goddamn KKK. <laughs> Get out of here, man. I'm not about to be come taking the leftovers from the goddamn Confederacy. <laughs> you bugging out. Let's continue. This lady said, unfortunately, this is facts. Not all, but this has been my experience as well. God damn, bro. How many of y'all done gave, how many of y'all done got bent over by the Confederacy? Jesus Christ. Yo, and keep in mind, brother, I bet you every dollar in my checking account, the saving account, the Bitcoin account, the goddamn life insurance policy. I bet every single dollar that I have that every single one of these women, they claim to be pro black. I'm pro black. I'm so pro black. I love my people. I'm so pro black. I guarantee during the during the elections with Joe Biden versus Donald Trump, these women were talking about we have to stop Donald Trump. We cannot let white supremacy win. We have to stop white supremacy from getting into the White House. Meanwhile, these women having sex with the Confederacy, bro. This shit is this shit crazy. <laughs> <laughs> that's why i stay away from them bro it's a joke it's a joke and their mindset is schizophrenic it makes no sense the mindset never matches the behavior i don't get it bro like i told you the whole pro black shit is a fashion statement for them bro it's a fashion statement even the lady who made the video at the end of the video what she say? she said oh we didn't forget about slavery we didn't forget about slavery yo what do you mean you didn't forget about slavery you was dating the confederacy but you're talking about we didn't forget about slavery we remember slavery shut up bro be quiet man golly like Ain't nobody buying that crap no more, man. Stop talking about slavery. You don't care about no goddamn slavery. You laying up with the goddamn Confederate general's grandson. Man, fuck out of here. <laughs> You're a joke. You're a joke, and everybody like you was a joke. That's why black men like me stay away. We stay 100 meters away. We stay 100 feet away. Whenever you come around, we run away. <laughs> Anyways, moving on. This brother said, they don't feel embarrassed coming on social media to air out the fact that they got ran through by the Europeans. Whatever happened to just taking the loss in silence and learning from your mistakes? And this person said, I guess sometimes the L's need to be public. That way someone else learns from it before they make the same mistake. Yo, all you got to do is just study history, man. Just pick up a damn book. Yo, pick up. Yo. Contrary to popular belief, you don't have to learn from somebody else's mistakes. You could just learn what your foremothers went through. Learn what your female ancestors went through and ask yourself, if they're looking down upon me right now, would they approve of what I am doing? Would they approve of my choices? Me personally, I do the same exact self-reflection when it comes to my choices. I ask myself, would my forefathers approve of my choices? Would they condemn me for my choices? And if they would condemn me for it, I take that into account when factoring in if I should make the choice or not. But in order to reach that level of self-reflection, you actually have to have a connection with your ancestors. You actually have to have knowledge yourself. And those are two things that the vast majority of you guys do not have. Because if y'all did have knowledge of yourself, then so many of y'all would not have jumped in bed voluntarily with the Confederacy. Now let's continue. This brother said, I'd rather know who stepped out so that I can avoid them like the plague. So please, Lord, never let them stop out in themselves. Now, I feel you, brother. I feel you. Trust me. Trust me. I feel you. I, I don't want nothing to do with them either, bro. I, like I said, once I find out, once I find out she had a history with the Confederacy, once I find out she had a history with the goddamn conquistadors, man, listen, delete my number, baby. Delete my number. Block me. Block me. I'm not even going to block you. I want you to block me. Block me on Instagram. Block me on Gmail. Block me on your block me. <laughs> block my shit. <laughs> <laughs> block me make sure i can never reach you block me please i beg of you now let's continue this brother said 
Let them come and vent out what happens to them because that way we know which one of them are the leftovers of the rednecks so we can stay away from them at all costs. I feel you, brother. I feel you. I, I, hey, I, I can't argue with that. I feel you. Trust me. Trust me. I wish there was like I wish there was like a sign. They, I wish they wore something on like their forehead so we know how to avoid them. Like they put like a sticker on their forehead to know like all intelligent black men, please avoid me. Please don't talk to me. Don't waste your time talking to me. I wish there was like somewhere that you could like identify them. Like the video games have like a sign over somebody's head. Like listen, she be dealing with the rednecks and the confederates. Don't talk to her. Don't waste your time, brother. <laughs> we need that, bro. We need that. This brother said, she basically said, I knew all of this was a possibility. I just thought that my white man was going to be different. But I realize now that I was wrong. And I'm upset that it happened to me when I knew that they have these tendencies. That, that's pretty much it, bro. That, that's pretty much it. They pretty much jump into the situation. Like I told you, even though most of them don't really have a functional understanding of history, they have a basic understanding, at least what they were taught in school. You know, Martin Luther King, uh, Jim Crow, um, you know, Abraham Lincoln, free the slaves. They have a basic understanding, right? So they know that generally Europeans have been hostile towards our people for centuries now. And even still, if you've been following my channel, I've been covering West African geopolitics and I've been basically talking about how the, the white Frenchman and the white American are trying to destroy an African nation right now. They're trying to wage war and mobilize troops against an African nation right now just to maintain their own personal and economic interests and maintain the natural resources in the region. For those of you guys who've been watching my channel, you already know I'm covering the, the 2003, the coup in Niger with the military overthrew the president in Niger. And now the Western powers, the United States, the European Union, France, etc., etc., all the white nations are all coming together to sanction Niger, to mobilize troops and wage war against Niger, which is already one of the poorest countries in the world, one of the poorest black countries in the world, a population of 25 million blacks. And what the situation has exposed to us is that the same exact hostility that Europeans have had towards our people centuries ago it's still active still to this day and these women still voluntarily jump in bed with these dudes man so listen i got no i got no sympathy for y'all i don't really care for y'all like i said i avoid y'all so whenever i run into y'all i want y'all to block me now usually i just ghost women when they tell me they be running around with the confederacy i just ghost them i don't even give them an explanation but now i'm gonna just i'm gonna just start telling them listen just block me baby just just, just block me just, just block i don't think it's gonna work i see you got a history with the kkk i don't want to deal with that just just block me just for the best of us both, j just block my number. <laughs> just block me. I'm going to start telling women that. Just, just block me, baby. Just, just block me, please. Block me. <laughs> now, moving on. This brother said, we didn't forget about slavery, but still begging for a white dude not to be racist. Yeah. Yeah, that's the mentality of a lot of our people, man. It's similar to when you tell our people we have to establish our own economy. We have to establish our own corporations. We have to be vertically integrated. We have to employ ourselves. We have to provide opportunities to our own community to provide a layer of insulation and protection from a hostile world that we claim is working against us. So when you come with a logical conclusion like that, you still have a lot of our people that will tell you, no, no, we have to, you know, we have to break into the white spaces. We got, we want to go to the white schools. We got to work for the white corporations instead of just establishing their own spaces, instead of just establishing their own networks, instead of just establishing their own stuff, they still want to run behind the white man stuff. They still want to go to the white university. They still want to work for the white corporation. They don't want to establish their own shit. And the same mentality stretches to these women right here. They know the history generally on a basic level, but due to the fact that so many of our people, they don't have a mindset for independence. They don't have a mindset for self-sufficiency. They have a mindset for integration. They have a mindset based on assimilation. They don't want to have their own spaces. They don't want to have their own stuff. They don't want to be independent. They don't want to be truly empowered amongst their own people. They want to join the ranks of other people. They want to follow behind other people. They want to join forces with other people. And then when it doesn't work out, they want to cry foul. They want to be upset. They want to hop on TikTok and make stupid videos talking about, why were you guys so racist? I thought you guys loved us. You guys want to be with us behind closed doors when nobody's watching you guys want to bend us over the couch but you guys hate our people you hate us you hate us but you guys want to bend me over the couch i thought you love me but you hate me oh my god you guys sound pathetic you sound pathetic you sound pathetic and the white boy treated you exactly how you presented yourself pathetic let's continue this brother said slave owners enslaved and sold their own biracial children strom thurman racist ass in south carolina had a biracial child and he never even acknowledged her i mean come on man i mean i mean you don't even have to be a student of history to understand these things the sad reality is this like i told you the vast majority of women do not have a truly functional understanding of history right i guarantee most of these women never even heard of strom thurman that's what i'm talking about they never even heard of strom thurman you talking about strom thurman 
That's the first time she even heard. That's the first time she even heard that name. That's what I'm talking about. When you don't even have any knowledge of self, any knowledge of history, you're you're bound to make stupid decisions. You're bound to make some boneheaded decisions, and that's what we see today. That's what we see today. These women walking down the aisle, getting pregnant by white supremacists. Like this shit crazy. Let's continue. This brother said, "She's saying all this about white men, but you can see she has no plans to ever stop dating them. She's just butt hurt because they treat her as subhuman, but she still love them." <laughs> Hey man, that's why I stay away from them. That's why I stay away from them chicks, man. That's why I stay away, man. I don't want nothing to do with them, man. I I don't want that type of schizophrenia in my life. I don't want that type of mental instability in my life, man. I live a very peaceful, prosperous, luxurious, amazing, blessed existence, and I only want the cream of the crop, the top of the top black women to join me in this existence that I currently enjoy. And let's continue. This brother said, "You got to listen to the rhetoric closely. They still want the white man. They just want the white man to not hate them or the children they make with them." They don't even care if they're racist to other black people as long as they make them happy. A very unserious demographic. That's why I tell y'all boys, I just stay away. I just stay away, baby. Just lose my number, man. Just stop talking to me, man. Just just move on. Find somebody else. I, I Find somebody else to do it, man. Find somebody else to do it. <laughs> stay on that side, baby. Stay on that side. Let's continue. This person said, black men, barricade the doors before she tries to get back in. Ha <laughs> ha. You already know the standard procedure. You already know the method of operation. And I can't tell the next man what to do, but when it comes to me, I'm not taking I'm not taking the leftovers from the goddamn Confederacy. I'll tell you that right now. If the Confederacy had it, the Confederacy can keep it. <laughs> do you know how many black women are available around the world? You gotta be a goddamn fool if you think I'm gonna settle for the leftovers of the goddamn Confederate General's grandson. I'm not doing it, bro. It's way too many um, amazing, beautiful black women that are ready and are equipped with the mentality that's compatible to be the woman that you need her to be. For you to settle for less, it just makes no sense. Now let's continue. This brother said, it don't make no sense. She hasn't forgot about slavery, but she continues to date them. Bruh, these women don't know anything about history, man. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. One of the easiest ways for me to get into a chick's mind is through my extensive knowledge of history because I have so much information that she does not know about. I have so many books that she never heard about. So whenever we sit around having conversations, I'll be blowing them away, bro. I'll be blowing them away because they don't really have the information that I have because apart from what we are taught in school, the basic stuff, Martin Luther King, Rosa Parks, they don't know anything apart from that, bro. They don't know anything apart from that. Frederick Douglass, the basic stuff. But once you start going into great detail, I start pulling out the literature and I start really giving them the game. A lot of them get blown away because they don't know the history, bro. They don't really know the history, man. And when you don't know the history, you don't feel connected to the history. A lot of them don't feel no connection to their ancestors because they don't know anything about their ancestors, bro. So that's why it's so easy for them to jump in bed with the Confederacy. Because a black woman that truly knows her history and truly feels connected to her history, she's not going to jump in bed with the Confederacy, man. She's not going to get pregnant by the Confederates. She's not going to jump in bed with the Confederates. She's not going to hop on TikTok crying because the Confederates don't like her people. No, because she already understands, because she has a, an extensive knowledge of history, she understands the mentality of these people. She knows. She already knows this. But the vast majority of them do not know this. That's why it catches them by surprise. They be, they be flabbergasted when they find out that you know Europeans have a hostile energy towards their people <laughs> they really be flabbergasted like wow they're really racist wow i thought it was a joke i thought it was just i thought it was just on tv but it's real life bro a lot of them are goofy man a lot of them are goofy that's why you got to stay away that's why you got to stay away man stay away only deal with the black women that have the mentality that's compatible with you anything else is uncivilized now let's continue this person said bringing up slavery while actively looking for the demographic who was the majority of the slave masters is wild bro i'm telling you i'm telling you these fake pro-black i'm so pro-black black power ungawa black pro-black the white man the white man these women i'm telling you that's why i told you in the video the other day i don't want to hear none of that race talk from any of y'all women stop talking to me about this race talk because i don't believe you I don't believe stop talking to me about slavery stop talking to me about racism stop talking to me about white supremacy stop talking to me about oppression stop talking to me about donald trump stop talking to me about the republicans stop talking to me about this crap that you don't care about because after all that bullshit you you talk all that nonsense you still gonna jump right in bed and then arch that back for the confederacy so stop it i don't want to hear it respectfully nefakari desaline i don't want to hear that shit man stop talking to me about race <laughs> stop talking to me about race you're a joke i don't believe you now moving on this brother said, historically, white men have always enjoyed the aesthetic, the beauty, and ultimately the bodies of black women, while simultaneously displaying an outright disdain and hatred for black people. I don't see how this is a question. Only difference is they have to take you to dinner first. I mean, yeah, pretty much. I mean, not much has changed, bro. Not much has changed, man. Not much has changed. 
The only thing that has changed from the times of slavery is that the European nations are no longer in the business of acquiring slave labor. They desire to have the natural resources from Africa, right? So they don't want the slaves from Africa anymore. Now they want the diamonds and the gold and the uranium and the phosphate and the timber and the oil and the gas, etc., etc. That's what they want from Africa. And now instead of black women being forced by coercion to jump in bed with the white man, now she voluntarily jumps in bed and arches her back for the white man. That's the only difference between yesterday and today. Yesterday, the white man was interested in acquiring slave labor. Today, he's interested in acquiring natural resources. Yesterday, the black woman had to be forced by coercion or the threat of violence to jump in bed with the white man. Now, she voluntarily volunteers to jump in bed with the white man. That's the only thing that has changed, man. That's it, bro. That's it. That's it. Anyways, man, it's a boy of a card that's Celine back in the billy. Yes, indeed. Cash up on the screen, and I'm gone. Peace. Reincarnated, I'm back in the original fashion. I left on a horse and came back in the ass, and I left with abundance and came back to famine. We used to be pyramids, now we be rapping. Look how the mighty have fallen. Used to be running, sh now we be walking. When you be cooning, that's when they applauded. Selling your soul, your sons and your daughter. Gotta come up in this shit. They stuck in the mix. Really, my heart would be breaking. That's why I'm stacking that paper and handle my business. Pass it down in generation. Talking about money and power and building a nation. That's a deadly combination. Never be watching the TV, they pushing the genus. Falsifying information. Know they got malice intentions. Step in the room and I'm feeling the tension. Enemy watching me, blocking my vision. Pay for the check, cause I need my redemption. Building my kingdom, I need to protect it. Ready for war like a young money Congo. Never decided the team is the motto. Up in the crib and I'm whipping up waffles. Up in the crib and I'm smoking gelato. I'm chilling, I'm taking my pain and make it ambition. I'm blessed by the gods, but I ain't religious. I came for the power, they came for the bitch. They making no hourly wage. I got business. This shit is an art. And they could never be taught Selling my soul I can never be bought Play all my money I see you ain't caught Run to the check And I do it for sport Babylon falling I go to the source Packing my luggage And go overseas Shorty be with me And she so at least Shorty be chugged And I'm calling her Hershey Secret intelligence Probably gon' murk me Don't fuck with brands Cause nigga I'm Haitian Say the wrong shit And you're smacking their faces